Salutations, salutations, salutations. Welcome to another installment of your favorite show, The Dale Ryan Report. I am Ryan Humor, and... Hey, it's the ever so clever, the man with many endeavors, your favorite podcast host, Mr. About Dale Time. Peace and love. Bro, this Drake album. Fire, your man, Aubrey. Honestly, I don't hear... Uh, Aubrey always does it for you. Summertime vibes. Let me tell you something. Right before your birthday. Let me tell you something that made me really happy about the Drake album. Okay. I'll tell you what made me really, wow, I'm really, I'm this really what, waiting on this. This is what made me really happy about the Drake album. This what made me really happy. What made me really happy about the Drake album is that I found out that day, I found out that I'm not a Drake stan. Oh. I found out I'm not a Drake stan. You know what I mean? And it's funny because people call, Wait, wait, wait. Why are you not a Drake stan? I found out I'm not a Drake stan. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. I'm going to explain it to you. Firstly, people have called like 50 Cent and like a bunch of people like marketing geniuses. They've called Kanye West marketing geniuses, so on and so forth. But I think Drake may be a marketing genius because his album is called Honestly Nevermind. And when I heard it, I seriously thought, honestly, honestly never mind. <laughs> which, is so, which is so weird. It's really weird because that's how I felt. Turn it on. This is what happened first. My voice was like, hey, a Drake album's coming out tonight. I was like, word. The Warriors playing, they about to win, and a Drake album's gonna drop? Mm -hmm. Too good to be true, makes no sense. I went to Apple Music. The bottom said Drake, it said Drake, dance. I'm like, dance? I'm like, has he ever put that on the album before? So I go through all his albums, see if any of them say dance. Not even more life says dance. And I'm like, oh, this is really gonna be some, just hold on, I'm going home type of shit. Okay. I wait for the album to drop, I play it. Go to the, go to the garage, play it like I usually do. Plays, the intro, not an intro, just sounds. I'm like, okay. I breeze through it. I never skimmed through a Drake album in my life. And I was like, okay, honestly, never mind. So it's for me. And I was fine with it. It's just not for me. It's for somebody, but it's not for me. And that's cool. But in my mind, I was like, oh my God, I'm not a stan. Because I heard a scene a bunch of people on Twitter talking about, this is the greatest shit ever made. Like, I can't believe he's so fire. And it's weird because I'm like, how can you tell me that it's the greatest thing ever made, but it dropped 10 minutes ago? I can tell you I don't like it in 10 minutes. You can't tell me you love it in 10 minutes. So I'm not a fan of the album, and I'm glad to know I'm not a stan. That everything he does is not just gold to me. It's not just the holy water. No, because you, know you know how the Kanye fans be. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. anything he do. No matter what. Right, he pee in a jar. He's just, just genius. You know, just on record. Like, and all he did, like, it was just, he just recorded himself peeing in a jar. And, and, and say Kim in the background. Scoopity poop, ploopity scoopity ploop. This is genius, brilliant. But ain't nobody peeing like Kanye. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's how I felt about it. But in my oh, but let me go. Ahead. How, how how did you feel about it? It was. I think okay. So here's what I think. I think he did exactly what he does. He made a summer album. I mean, he's trying to get us to go back outside. That's why it's called dance. He's he's trying to think about all of those. All of those vibes. I think it's gonna be something that people like down the line. They're still gonna play it in a club. They're gonna they're gonna saturate it over the fucking over the radio enough that eventually you're gonna know a song. But hard to be like, okay, I don't fuck with the album, but I fuck with this one song or I fuck with that. I didn't really like it. I, I didn't really like it, but I'm not a big fan of Drake when he does shit like this anyway. Me, I, I, I personally like Drake when he's spitting the bars. He and his he and his bag where he's spitting. He's spitting. He giving you some shit he's talking about. He reflecting. I like his reflective spits. When he's reflecting, he's thinking about shit and he's, he done put some shit in. This ain't none of that. This is like, yo, I just want to let y'all know, like, this is Drake dad flow. That's what this is. This is Drake. I'm really a dad now. I got braids. I'm trying to like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, that's why I think it's really some honestly never mind. Like, that nigga went in the studio and was like, like, heard it and was like, honestly, bro, I mean, do you think we should put it out? Never mind, just put that shit out. We need to get something out this summer because this is what we do. And, and you, go ahead. No, that's it. And I think that really, I think Drake fans that don't like the album, y'all also got to calm down. Yeah. Y'all got to calm down. This because, ain't the end all Drake. Because, it, and even if it was, right. Drake fans, just like Warrior fans, got to calm down. Y'all attacking Drake for this album the same way Warrior fans are attacking KD. For what? You got four, listen, KD showed up and gave us two championships. Feel good about it. Drake, in the last two years, gave us a surprise pandemic album. That's Dark Lane Demo Tapes. Then he dropped Scary Hours with two other songs on there and Lemon Pepper. 
outstanding. You know what? Then he gave us, then he, then he gave us, then he gave us a whole album in September, and now he made this for the summer for the people for the for the water for the for the barbecue. Be easy, like I, you don't gotta like it, but you don't gotta hate it. I know what I know what this album came from. Where he didn't even record this recently. Do you know what this album came from? This album came from a whole file that he probably had on the computer, and it really was titled, you know what, never mind. It was 40, called Honestly Never Mind. Though. Honestly Never Mind. These were all the songs that he was going to put on these other albums for the last two years. These were songs that he was going to put on there, and he said, honestly, never mind, not these ones. <laughs> and then they, <laughs> was like, they was like, yo, you could just, somebody was in there and was like, bro, you could just make an album with this. You think so? Because he been, honestly, Drake been hella busy, bro. Like, honestly, Drake has been hella busy. He been on tour with Jack Harlow doing some shit. He just came out of, he did his whole basketball arena shit. He did his own tourney where he did that shit, won his own tournament. We know you was fucking, you know, you fraud, rank, rigged that shit though, Drake, I could tell it. But you didn't, put, you didn't put Chris Brown in there, so I know you didn't really win. If you'd put Chris Brown in there, you might've got dogged. But you think he'd been too busy to actually record an album? Too busy to record. So this is just, these are tracks that were just chilling somewhere. These are tracks that were just chilling, and he dropped them and was like, yo, I'm gonna drop them and see what happens. This was some shit where he was like, I'm going to see who like it and who don't. I'm Drake. Y'all going to play that shit anyway. That's a good point. That's a yeah. good point, man. He going to play that shit. And then look, all you're going to do is like, this is the difference between somebody like KD. This is why Drake is more in line with Curry than he is with KD. Even though he said like me and KD the same person, I think he's more in line with Curry. And that's because like Curry will be put down a year and niggas will talk bad about Curry. Nigga Curry trash. Never going to be shit. Milk. You know what I'm saying? Hella shit, right? But like this fake underdog shit. But, Everyone loves him. But but then but then <laughs> but then he will come out and have a magnificent year, and then he will see Curry. I told you. I been told you. Curry, Curry, woo, 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 woo. and this might just be a ploy to let Kendrick really shine. Like Kendrick just dropped his album. You know what I'm saying? Five Steppers. You know. This is a ploy to let someone else shine. <laughs> yep. Bro, Get, listen. Bring Kendrick back. I think I think you make a good point as far no, as just this was a file that was chilling, and it was like which is the honestly never mind file. That's what I think it's like a care it's like a care package, but right. just full of honestly never mind. Yeah. Which is fine. Like I'm I'm okay with it. I don't have a I don't have a huge issue with it. I haven't I heard that I I only played I played it through one time and I'll just let it. That's I was all like, I did. All right, this is. I was like, I was like, okay, I guess you I guess you could clean your room to this, but I'm not about to have y'all running around telling me that this is really good. Like I'm not I'm not gonna deal with that from y'all. Y'all not gonna do this to me. I refuse. Until they and, start making TikTok videos and he gonna be all on set. And this is like, it's interesting because I have a, I have a very, uh, I have a very like, how do you say, contrasting view of this compared to like a Yeezus, where like when I first heard Yeezus, like when I first heard Blood on the Leaves, I already knew that that was like one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. So I heard Blood on the Leaves and immediately it was fire. Bound 2 is really good too, but Blood on the Leaves is outstanding. I knew it from the beginning. But the rest of the album is like, Nah, you know, but I can tell Kanye like put his foot in that. Like mm -hmm. I knew I want to work really hard on something that's like completely different or whatever. It didn't sound like it was like like he had all these tracks chilling somewhere. Even though Kanye may have, because he's Kanye. But to your point, I think Drake did really have these in like a shoebox somewhere on a on a drive and was like, "Hey, you want to use this for the thing? Yeah. For what? Let's do that. Uh, let's do that thing you always wanted to do where you release a bunch of random ass songs. So it's called the playlist. Now call the album. We'll call it dance album, <laughs> and then we can say it's fire." Word? Yeah, let's do it. And it says dance. If y'all check Apple Music, it says dance. And that shit gonna be popping out in like, I mean like the Caribbeans though. That's what niggas, that's what niggas that said like, this is the best ever. Those are niggas that live in the Caribbean right now. These was random niggas from Kansas City though. So. <laughs> <laughs> <the best? laughs> but, but look, let me ask you this. Do you think with this album, do you think, I mean, I know you said it doesn't matter, but do you think this is starting? I mean, Drake's been hot for a lot of years, bro. A lot of years, Drake's been, you know, the guy. Do you think this is a start of a decline? Is this him starting to fade into his LeBron? Um, yeah, man, because you, you can only do this for so long. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like, it's almost in a sense where Jay-Z was able to do this for only so long, too. Or it got to a point where... Wayne? Wayne was only able to do this so long. Wayne was only able to do this for so long, you know? And I think, but the difference between... The reason I mentioned Jay-Z is because... Jay Z just Jay Z isn't gonna just put some work out, right? I, I don't think Drake will either. Like no matter no matter what people say about this album, the production I'm sure is fine. You know what I mean? But Wayne will put out anything. Wayne will just put out anything. Not not because he's disrespectful to the game. He just loves spitting like that. I think with Drake, you only have so much like 
so much time and effort to put into like each song where no friends in the industry, okay, we get it, but you're rich. Like, mm -hmm. who cares? Were you gonna rap about your son growing up? Okay, that's cool. You said about my woman that you, that you smashed? I mean, that's cool too. I mean, like Shaman Poetry, that's dope. I mean, I've been dope since, I've been, I've been hot since the birth of my son, that's cool. You got some friends that you wanna make sure they can do things legitimately? Okay, that should be easy now. Like, you don't get along with your papa shit? Nah, really? Like, I mean, like. You don't put them on hell albums though. Huh? You don't put them on hell albums. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it's kind of like, you can only do this for so long. Right. So is it, the, is it the decline? I don't know if it's the decline. It's probably the like, the retirement, if you will. That's which saying. is why you did the dance album. Yeah. You know, take a break. Take a break, get out, get away from it a little bit. I, show I still can sing a little bit, you know. Y'all can see that. I it, just gave y'all, plus on the last album I just gave y'all, I gave y'all a bunch of bars. Yeah. Maybe he'll, and not, so yeah, you drop the dance album, maybe he'll just take a few summers off. Well, not a few summers, but like, this, this counts as him taking this summer off. So he'll give, he'll give y'all another album, maybe like next, he'll, he'll drop Scorpion 2, October of 2023. Yeah. And then, but for now, we gotta just sit in this. You gotta just marinate. This is it. This is what y'all get. And just love it. And then I'm gonna tell you, who's, but see, I think he's he's smart at marketing because he'll he'll get a bunch of people who're gonna, a bunch of influencers who're gonna do TikTok shit. They're gonna do a bunch of shit. They're gonna do a bunch of Instagram shit. They're gonna they're gonna make this shit get to a point where numbers are going are not gonna are not gonna fail him. Yeah, of course not. I mean, there's people. It's just it's just like it's just like Kanye, right? Yeah. Just like Kanye in the sense where. People really liked Kanye's Christian album. People, <laughs> they did. People really liked they it. They did. They did. Right. They did. I know somebody. Vernon, I, I'll admit this. D man, shouts out to you if you're watching. He actually liked it. He yeah. actually was a big, a big. Actually, I didn't even know this. D man is a big Kanye supporter. Huge. Uh, well, of course. Of, well, number one, because of Jesus. <laughs> and then number two, because of MAGA. It just, <laughs> it just makes duh. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. <laughs> it just makes sense. <laughs> it's just, it's not even, it's not even something that blows my mind. But no, I, I have another friend that was like, got on Kanye's hype when the when the Christian album came out. You know, Kanye dropped his last one. Was like, this doesn't sound like the last stuff. Like, yeah, he's not. Yeah, exactly. he's not actually a gospel person. Like, oh man, for real? Like, I thought Kanye always no, he doesn't always make gospel albums, nigga. But that's so, I thought he was Kirk Franklin. So somebody, Stop. so so somebody's gonna hear this album. Like, oh, I didn't even know Drake did this stuff like that. And they gonna really like it. They gonna really like it. So, that's what I'm saying. Somebody gonna really love this shit. Like it's hot. I'm telling y'all right now. Watch. I guarantee by really by July, for some reason you gonna hear a lot of niggas bumping this shit. You gonna be going to festivals. And niggas gonna be bumping this shit. I got a pro I have a problem with that though. Like I don't. I, I, this is what I want in my perfect world. I want people if they don't like it to just say they don't like it. Nah, I don't want people gonna, to lie and be like, it's hot that. now. Like, I don't. They're not going to admit that because, see, everybody, every, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, Linda. Everybody follows the trend. Nigga, if just, you going to be that one opposing nigga like, I really keep it real. Like, I really don't like this shit. Other niggas going to be like, oh, me. They're going to give you the same feedback that other niggas done heard. Like, it's hard. You got to think about it like this because when he did this, he was doing it from this standpoint. Like, he was really out there in the career. You got to remember, Drake is Caribbean. His dad, Jamaican. Like, Really, but he lived in Memphis. Just start making shit. He lived in Memphis, but he Jewish. I hate when people try to sell. He Jewish, he Jewish Caribbean. I hate though. when niggas sell me art. You have you heard his like, accent? Have you heard his accent? I've heard all nine of them. <laughs> I've heard all. I've heard all nine of them. It used to be six, but it's a nine now. I've heard all, every single Drake accent there is. <laughs> don't if don't don't sell me this album. And some of you guys that are, and I get it. Like I know a lot. I have like close friends. And when certain albums drop, we have a thread about it. We talk about it for like two weeks and so on and so forth. A couple of y'all keep asking me to like this. I'm not going to. What? Huh? <laughs> you gonna like it? No, I'm not. They're like, hey, Rock, you heard this bark? You gotta hear this one. No, I, I play it. It's not. You know, because like, you know, it's. Freak. <laughs> nah. Um, I have I'm like, sorry. I have like, I have like Drake friends. I have like Jay Z friends. I have, I have Wayne friends. I have like 90 Day Fiance friends. You I got have cold fr friends. I have, no, I have cold friends, yeah. One. But I have like, for those things, like these threads, these threads come upon us when, shir when shir certain shit pop off. Like threads, uh, this friend, the thread pops up. Thread okay. ain't been touched in years. Thread just <laughs> pop up. But for this, it's gonna be dry for I'm sorry, I have no, I don't have a thing about this. Damn. I don't. Cause some things, it doesn't, it doesn't take me long to realize I'm, I'm pretty open-minded, and when I say that, it's because I like a lot of stuff, 
So it doesn't take me too long to like something. I kind of know when I like it immediately. It's rare that things like grow on me unless like I'm being fake or didn't give it enough of a chance. Like I don't really like More Life. I love five songs of More Life. I I, I, try, I, I know exactly what five songs you're talking about. I've tried, tried to listen to More Life multiple times, but I really like five songs in there, but I don't like the whole album. Why? I don't know. No idea. Baby, I like yourself. I don't like that song. It's not one of the ones. It's not one of the ones I like. So, that's what. That's the whole way I think of this album that just came out, though. Oh, it's like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the it's whole. Like album, that. That's the whole. Just exact. hold on, I'm coming home. Yeah, but I'm saying, there are some other uh, other than you love that vibe. That's fine. You, love if, that if you vibe. if you love it, love it, and live that's good for you. But if you don't, if you it. don't love it, don't let the media trick you and be like this shit fire. Don't do that. Yeah. Because that's why we got like warrior fans like lighting crosses on KD's front yard. Y'all don't let ESPN trick you into hating KD. Don't let them mean to trick you into liking this album if you don't like it. It's okay. It's okay to not like the Drake album. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's completely fine. Now, if it was not, not <laughs> he's not, he's not going to block you. <laughs> he might. Listen, man, y'all could be anywhere in the world right now, but cheer with us and we appreciate that. Hey, man, if you made it this far, right before you go ahead and log off, go make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you aren't already subscribed, hit the bell button so that way you stay notified for any new videos that do launch up on the Dell and Ryan Report channel. But of course, if you want to hear more segments in full episodes, please check out our channels on either Apple Music, Spotify, or any platform that does podcasts. And you can also... Find all of our content on our webpage. That's the Dell and Ryan Report.com. Yeah, and follow us, man. That's the Dell and the the Del Del Ryan Report. Report. On on Instagram? That's it. You heard it. Live. We'll holler. Bow. <laughs>